mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody true welcome back I'm the real Andy of Ray Hills and welcome to another piece of tea and right now we're going to be talking about Miss Noella Bergener from the Real Housewives of Orange County and how she is clapping back at Heather Dubrow and Tamara Judge but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the very very troops subscribe 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 hit the notification bell guys we are on our way to 30k so if you want to join this family you know what to do and let's talk about this mess right now okay so um Noelle Bergener has definitely created a splash on the Real Housewife of Orange County to the point that everyone is talking about her. And even if you like it or not, that's the right way to go into the Real Housewife, okay? Especially if you're a new one, you don't want to be the boring one. You don't want to be the one that no one is talking about, okay? You want to be, you, you want to keep it fresh. You want to be a little bit controversial. You want to create lovers and haters. That's just the way it works. And that's exactly what Noella has been doing. Okay. Um, look, I look, I, 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 it's so funny because I read that your comments and I know a lot of you are not like Noella's uh, team. It's not about team for me. Okay. I've never said that I am anti Heather Dubrow or that I am anti whatever or that I am 100% team Noella. It's just that I am, I am pro housewives. Okay. So I love when a housewife understands the assignment and does what it needs to be done, you know, and keeping people pressed is definitely part of the job. Okay, so that's why I'm like I'm liking Noella so much because she is creating conversation. She is keeping people like, like, you know, talking about her, you know, and 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 creating drama all the way around. And I actually think that she's doing a good job. And if you really think about it, she's even creating a better job than even Browning did herself. You know, and I think that was probably one of the reasons why Browning might be so upset with Noella, you know, at the end uh, of the day. Yes, all these ladies on Orange County, they're usually very conservative. They usually have a different way of thinking. Well, some of them, you know. So having someone who is so open and free, you know, especially when it comes to sex, is scaring the shit out of them. And then, of course, you have Heather Dubrow, who wants to be the queen bee, who wants everyone kissing her her finger, you know. And you you have someone like Noella being like, no, bitch, I'm just not going to do it, you know. So that's the part that I'm really enjoying. Believe me, if Noella doesn't come back next season, I really don't care, you know. But now that she's here, I'm 100% enjoying what she's doing because she is giving us the good part of reality TV, okay? A lot of people, I don't think if, if they quite often understand what is reality TV all about. And this is it. When you when we need to keep having these conversations because some people are like, oh my God, I hate Noella. She's so extra. She's so thirsty. She's doing this. And other people are like, oh my God, I love Noella because she is so free because she doesn't give a shit. When you have those kind of point of views, the housewife is actually doing a good job. For example, look at Heather Dubrow, you know. She's doing the same thing. A lot of people are thinking Oh my God, she's obnoxious. She's not acting, you know, the right way. She thinks that she's better than everyone. Um, she just want everyone kissing her ass, blah, blah, blah. And you have the other side uh, basically loving her and being like, oh my God, you are what Orange County needed. You are great. You are blah, blah, blah. That's also another point. And as long as the housewife keep doing that, they are going to be great for reality TV. So anyways, I just wanted to put that first before I give you the tea because I read some of the comments and it's not like I'm team Noella. I will all in this case, I'm always team 
Real Housewife. And whatever gives me great TV, that's what I'm going to be all about. Because I don't want to be a bunch of women around having tea. That's boring as fuck. AKA, for example, that trip to Mexico was boring AF. Like, the only good part was actually Noella having fun with Shannon and Emily getting drunk on the beach. That was the only 20 seconds that were enjoyable from that trip, okay? So, anyways, now you know that Noella is not letting pass one from anyone, you know? I mean, she, she, everyone thought that she was going to be this trophy wife, that she was going to, I mean, uh, oh, she is the skinny model that she's not able to do absolutely anything, but she's actually quite powerful if you really think about it, and she's not letting past anything okay every single time that someone call her out that someone trying to drag her she is responding one way or another this time she wasn't watch what happens live and you know andy coin asked her a few questions of things that happen so first uh andy coin asked her um uh, what she think about being called the uh village idiot by Tamara Judge. Tamara Judge was there the other day. And so they asked her, and this is what she said. Honestly, being called the village idiot by the most iconic village idiot is kind of epic on its own. So I'll take it. I mean, that's directly to Tamara Judge, okay? Then in another, and then she says in a more critical tone, it makes me sad. Like, girl, you're not a housewife. Get a new gig. Okay, I mean... <laughs> uh, what else can you do? I mean, Tamara is also knowing what she's doing, right? And then the best part is that now uh, Noella is literally declaring war on Heather Dubrow. I mean, this is like insane because she is literally with the next uh, part. She's basically saying, I don't give an F about Heather Dubrow and I'm going to try to take her down. I mean, she is taking up on herself to not take any shit from Heather Dubrow. And uh, Andy Cohen asked her if she was able to say three, three nice things about Heather Dubrow. And she literally said no. I actually find her to be a very vile human being. So no, it's a very difficult thing for me to go out of my way to want to be kind to someone who I just see is not what I wanted her to be. Girl, literally calling her a vile human being. I think there are so many things behind the cameras that we don't know. I mean, we have discussed some of them, you know, like, for example, the fact that Heather Dubrow allegedly uh, was dragging a cameraman uh, that night on her house on the first episode that she actually kind of put her hands on a producer or a cameraman or something like that. And then all of these rumors that Heather Dubrow has been going around trying to literally take down uh, no uh, yeah, Noella. Uh, so I think there are so many things behind the cameras that we don't see. And Noella is not here for any of them. Look, I'm going to be living for it every second of it. And I cannot, I'm more than the season. I'm very excited to see what is going to be the reunion. Because the reunion has not been filmed. And all of this is happening before the reunion. And you know that they're going to want to address every single one of these things. So that's going to be very interesting right there. Look, like I said, give me the drama. Give me the good things. I'm here for it. Okay. If Bravo decided to, you know, fire Noella or fire Heather Dubro, I think they're doing, um, they will be doing a mistake. The only one who deserves to be fired at this point, let's be honest, is Jennifer Armstrong because she is not a strong um, personality on Orange County right now. It is what it is, right? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You know that you don't have to agree with me. That's the beauty of my channel. You can just leave any comment you want right there. And I still will be reading every single one of them. Uh, and let's just have a conversation. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in an hour. See ya. Bye.